Don't run from me Can't have it any other way It's me or no one If you leave, I'll take your life away Like you and no one So tell me you love me Tell me you love me Tell me it'll be okay Tell me you love me Tell me everything gon' be okay Tell me you love me Tell me you love me and you gon' stay Tell me you love me Tell me you love me won't go nowhere Tell me you love me Tell me you love me what is up guys it's your girl Tyra Janae and I'm back with another video today and I have a Q&A video for you guys in my last video you guys saw that I went on a family trip with my cousins and we did a vlog or whatever it was kind of fun you know a couple of disputes and confrontation but that's when it happens when you're with your family because you know things get crazy but I'm back with another video today by myself this is my first official video by myself as you guys can see because i'm new to this channel but i dropped a poll on my instagram snapchat and facebook and i asked you guys to drop some questions that you have for me and i actually got a lot of questions and i didn't expect to get a lot of questions because i'm new to youtube but if you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe but let's get right into it so the first question that i have is how are how old are you and when's your birthday so my birthday is March 29th and I'm 18 years old. The next follow up question after that is Zodiac sign. I'm an Aries, Aries gang or don't bang. <laughs> now nah, let me stop, but I love all my Aries. If you are Aries, I really fucks with you. So yeah, just let me know in the comments down below if you're an Aries, but I love all my Aries. The next question is, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. As you guys can see, my room is pink in the background i love pink i love all shades of pink light pink dark pink neon pink hot pink i just love pink like anything pink like if you guys ever want to get me something get it in pink because that's my favorite color the next question is how many siblings do you have so i actually have four biological siblings which is two brothers on my mom's side and two sisters on my dad's side but in reality, like if I include all my step siblings, I have a whole lot of siblings, a whole lot of brothers, sisters, and I love them all equally. I still jack them all as my siblings. Like I really love my siblings, all my siblings. The next question is, what grade are you in? So I recently just graduated high school over the summertime. My last day of high school was June 26th. So I'm officially a high school graduate. I didn't start college yet because due to COVID and everything, I really didn't like want to go to college because it's like nobody's really in classes or anything. People are basically just renting out dorms. Like I don't want to do the work online. And it's like, what sense does it make to stay in a dorm and do the work online on computer when I could just stay home? It's just like, I'ma just wait. And also, I have a lot of things in store. Like, I have a lot of plans and goals that I want to reach before I actually start going to school. If you guys hear any noise in the back, it's just because I live in New York City. New York City is always loud. And it's just, like, a lot of buses going by, motorcycles, as you can hear, train, like, trains. It's just a lot. So, the next question is, where do you work? So, I actually work with FedEx. I work in a warehouse job. And... I actually like it. I just started recently. I had quit my other job that I was working because they were not paying me enough and they had me working a whole bunch of hours. Like, I really felt like I was being slaved out and I did not like it and the pay wasn't good. Like, I barely could pay bills and stuff. So, I did not want to keep that job. The next question is my most embarrassing moment. So, my most embarrassing moment just happened recently it was over the summertime i was at my sister's house because she was throwing a party over the summer i think it was her birthday yeah it was her birthday party and we were so like i was so lit that i tripped and fell not once but twice and but we were sitting like in like this little jacuzzi thing and not jacuzzi it was like a gazebo like one of them things in the back like with the tents and stuff like it wasn't a built-in one it's one of the ones with like tents and stuff i don't know what to call it but yeah we were inside of there and i was turned up if you guys know what that means i was lit 
and we were a song came on and I jumped up trying to dance to the song and I turned around to dance and I like I tripped over the chair and I fell the whole chair closed on my legs and everybody was laughing at me and then not too far after that maybe like an hour in I'm even more lit now and I'm trying to run out the tent to go dance like on the concrete outside the tent and I tripped over the tent I tried to grab the top of the tent and reach but I wound up pulling the whole thing down like it came down with me I just crashed it for everybody was laughing but I was so lit that I was laughing at myself too like if that makes sense like it was so funny to me the next question is do you find it easy to make new friends and why I would say yes and no like it's easy for me to make friends because I'm a very friendly person and I'm very nice to people. I treat people how they treat me. Like if you treat me nice, I'll treat you nice. If you treat me mean, I'ma treat you mean back. Like basically, but um, it's easy for me to make friends, but to keep them and maintain them, no, it's not easy because not everybody's as loyal as you are. And I'm very um, loyal to my friends. I'm nice to my friends. Like I keep it 100 with my friends. But I feel like in reality, like I don't get the same energy back and I really just don't have time for it. So I usually end up not being friends with people for a really long time. It's just like short friendships and stuff like that. But it's no hate towards them. It's love towards everybody. It's just me and people, certain people just don't quit. Like if you get what I mean. Um, the next question is, what motivated you to do YouTube? Okay, so as a young kid, I've always been like the type to sit and watch YouTube because like I said, like it's easy for me to make friends, but maintaining them is really hard. So sometimes I try not to make friends. So I'm usually just the one in the group sitting in the corner. Like I'll be friendly towards everybody, but I'll usually just be watching YouTube videos. And when I was home, I like when I'm home, I always watch YouTube videos, even till now. Like I just love YouTube. I love watching videos, and I find it very like interesting and fun putting out content for other people. And I really just like everything about YouTube. So that's what made me want to start a channel. I started the channel a long time ago, but I deleted it. But I'm back and I'm better. And yeah. I just realized that one like when I did my eyebrows, one of them is like higher than the other. Don't mind me, like I was in a rush. My next question is most memorable moment in high school. So I don't really have too many memorable moments in high school because I was really one of them kids that really did not like school because I'm not really a social person and the schools that I was in wasn't really like the first high school that I was in which was a district that I grew up in and like since elementary I didn't really get along with a lot of people because I don't know like I just didn't I wasn't the type to really fit in and I wasn't really interested what everybody else was interested in I always had my own mind so I don't know, I don't really have a lot of good memories in me. And I was also a troublemaker as a kid. Like, I don't know. Like, I just got into a lot of fights and stuff. I didn't really go to school. But in my other high school, like, overall, my high school experience, I don't really like going to school. I didn't really like going to school. I wasn't a social person, so I would stay home a lot. But I would say my most, most memorable moment in high school is when I got called up in school for honor roll and all of that good stuff. And it was just a good feeling to me because I had my siblings there, like my main supporters, my brother and my mom, they came and they showed out for me. And it was really memorable for me and it was a good moment for me because like I said, I wasn't really one of them kids that liked to go to school a lot. So that really affected my attendance. And like, I really put, I was always in honors classes and AP classes, but I never really pushed myself to do good. So when I actually got on honor roll, I was very proud of myself. I was on honor roll a lot, like in middle school and in elementary, but in high school, I kind of just stopped really wanting to go and slack. And I was still handing the work. I just wouldn't really show up. You know, your attendance account for stuff like that. So I was really excited that I got honor roll. And I really had people there that supported me and came to see me. My next question is, what do you miss about high school? So what I miss about high school is actually like being around people like, and it's crazy that I say that because I'm not really a people's person. Like I have a lot of um, cousins and stuff that I'm cool with now and friends that I'm cool with now, but those are people that been there with me and for me like for a really long time that I'm really cool with. But what I miss about high school is like being in class with 
friends and stuff because I did have like a few friends in school like I don't think nobody just has no friends in school but being around my few friends joking around and like the bad parts about school like skipping classes and stuff like that that was actually fun to me I don't know if, like, if I sound a little crazy but that was actually fun to me I also miss going on school trips and doing a lot of fun stuff like that so yeah my next question is where do you see yourself in the next few years so, like I said previously, I have a lot of things in store. I'm not going to really tell you guys that yet, but you're going to see like in my future vlogs and videos what I'm talking about. But I have a lot of stuff in store, but I really do want to get my own house. That's what I'm working on right now. I really do want to get my own house, and I have a, a lot of other few plans. But I really just see myself being financially stable the way I want to be, and like just living in my own house, being happy and stuff like that that's where I see myself in the next few years like working and just bettering myself every day um favorite youtuber well it's not really a, well Queen Nigel is my favorite youtuber but her and Clarence is like just my favorite couple overall but I really do admire Queen um Nigel because I've been watching her since she ever first dropped a YouTube video like I've always been a fan of her before her and Chris her and everything that she's been in like I really been watching Queen since day one and I really love her growth and she's just a beautiful person in and out and I just got to see like how she's gotten better and better as like the years went on but yeah I really love her my next question is what are your favorite foods so everybody that hang out with me or that's always with me knows that I really love 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 pizza like that's really my favorite food overall I love me some pizza whenever we're ordering food out I'm always like oh let's get some pizza like I really love pizza everybody knows I love pizza but I really like pasta seafood like stuff like that I really just love those are like my favorite foods if you give me that I love you forever <laughs> my next question is do you have any tattoos if so how many yes i have four tattoos and i'm not gonna really go into depth about that because i just may upload another video of my tattoos and meanings but yeah i have four tattoos and i love all my tattoos i don't regret getting any of my tattoos and yeah the next question is what hair product do you use so I don't really use a lot of hair products on my hair. My hair look a little crazy right now. Like my edges look a little crazy because you know, I did them yesterday. I had like a, no, two days ago I had a side ponytail and I didn't fix up the roots. Like it, it is what it is. <laughs> like, but the hair products that I use are like Garnier Fructis hair products. Like when I'm in the shower and I'm washing my hair, I use their shampoos and conditioners. After I wash my hair, I um, massage like organic coconut oil in my hair, like or like original coconut oil that doesn't have anything mixed in it, like the one you just find at the supermarket. That's the type of coconut oil that I use in my hair. I also use Garnier Fruit Teas products when I'm flat ironing and straightening my hair, like I use the heat protectants and stuff like that. But I don't really use that many hair products in my hair. I usually just leave my hair alone. I'll moisturize it with coconut oil majority of the time and then I'll just leave it. But that's about it. My favorite hairstyle, I don't technically have a favorite hairstyle. Well, that's the next question, but I don't technically have a favorite hairstyle, but I love my hair when it's natural. Um, I used to not like my hair when it was natural because it wasn't the length that I wanted. It's still not the length that I want now, but I've been working on it. Like I've been growing it out and stuff, but I love all natural, my natural hairstyles. Like my hair out, half up, half down, like ponytails, anything natural. I just love my hair natural. The next question is, what do you look for in a man? This is a really good question, but I really just like somebody that loves me for me, who will treat me right, be loyal, respect me. And I like guys that have goals and morals. Like, if you don't really have goals in life, then we can't really be together because I have a lot of goals in life. And I really just work and study and stuff like that to better myself. That's why it took me so long to drop another video for you guys. Because I've literally just been working, like, bettering myself, planning out my life. Like, I have a whole planner and everything. What I look for in a man <laughs> is a guy that's, like, basically like me. Nice, loyal, and stuff like that. Have goals, ambitions, know how to treat a female. Like, that's respect respectful, like, stuff like that. Um, the next question is, are you single? No, I'm not single. I do have a boyfriend. 
and I don't know if we're gonna make a YouTube channel. We just might. I don't know, but yeah, I have a boyfriend that I really like. And yeah. Um, the next question is, do you want to get married in the future? Yes, I do want to get married in the future. Do I think I'm gonna get married anytime soon? No. Like, I really want to make sure if I marry somebody, that's gonna be the one and only marriage that I'm gonna be in for life. I don't want kids until I marry and stuff like that but yeah i really do want to get married one day just no time soon and the next question is do you want kids i already answered that yes i do want kids when i get married in the future yeah we can have a whole bunch of kids when i get married but i just gotta make sure i got a ring on this finger before anything um the next question is your biggest fear well i have two biggest fears my first biggest fear is losing my mom because my mom really has been here for me through thick and thin. Like, my mom is just like my mom and dad. I really love my mom so much. She's always there for me when I need her despite our ups and downs. My biggest fear is losing my mom. And my second biggest fear is not accomplishing the goals that I want to accomplish. I do have a whole lot of goals. Like, I have a whole list of goals. Like, I can name off the top of my head ones that I've written down. But my biggest fear is not accomplishing all the goals that I set out for myself that I do want to accomplish. Um, the next question is dream, my dream car. So, the dream car that I want is a Porsche. Like, I really love Porsches. I love the way they drive, like how smooth they are, the way they design. Like, I love everything about a Porsche. But my dream Porsche is a hot pink Porsche but a black and white interior. Yes, that's the type of Porsche I want. I don't really care what model Porsche it is as long as it's like a new one, but I really do want a Porsche. I love Porsches. Um, the next question is, what's your favorite season? So I don't know if my favorite season is summer or spring or like in the middle, but anywhere in between like that time frame, like that was the, that's my favorite time of the year. Like not when it's like too hot, or when it's like too windy. Like I really love the spring. That's also the season that I was born in. So I would really say like the spring. The spring is my favorite season. I love everything about the spring. It's when like, like I just, I don't know. I just love spring. Um, What career, career, what career do you want in the future? So in the future, I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to have my own business. Like I want to be the boss. I'm gonna be my own boss. I don't want nobody to be my boss. Like I'm tired of working under people, but you know, I'm gonna do it now so I can stack money, follow my goals, do what I wanna do. But I really don't wanna work underneath somebody. Uh, I hate that line that the reports make when you're talking in the saliva mix. But anyways, yeah, I wanna be my own boss. I really don't wanna work under anybody and stuff like that. I just want to own my own businesses but I really want to own like two businesses or whatever stuff like that like I've been working under people for so long I have so many jobs and I'm just ready for people to work for me I want to own either like a bakery or something like that because I really do love baking and cooking or like a restaurant or something in that favor I'm not really sure what I want to do yet but I just want to be my own boss. And yeah, that was the last question for the Q&A. That basically wraps up the video. If I should do another Q&A, please let me know in the comment section below. But I really did have fun talking to you guys for a little bit. Click that notification bell if you want to see more videos from me. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the end of the video. And I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me, Janae Gang. And if you want to see some more videos from me, let me know. Drop some questions. If you want me to do another Q&A, you can inbox me. Let me know some prank suggestions that I should do, some more videos that I should drop. Keep watching. I love you and subscribe. Bye. You had a bag of eight figures, figure, face on zaddy, pockets on jigger. You better get the card and make it swipe like tender. Private villa in the